So I did my educational giant report on Ella Flagg Young. She was born on January 15, 1845 in Buffalo, New York, to Theodore and Jane Flagg. At the age of 10, she taught herself to read and write, and that's when she first started school. She only attended school for a couple of months because um, she wasn't challenged enough and she felt like she could do a lot more. And so then during that time, she didn't have any support from her parents about going to school or anything. At 15, she took an exam to become a teacher and she passed it, but then she was told that she was still too young to teach, so she couldn't do anything with that at that time. Uh, after that, her mother continued to um, su not support her decision to be a teacher and told her that she wasn't going to make it, but that didn't stop her from furthering that career. She furthered her education at the Chicago Normal School and graduated in 1862. She then married William Young in 1868, and the two of them didn't have any children together. Uh, William passed when Ella was only 27 years old, and then when Ella was 55, she studied at the University of Chicago and received her PhD in 1900. She then passed away on October 26, 1918. But throughout her life, she was very involved in education. She had a teaching career of 53 years. She began teaching um, teaching primary school and then later to become the superintendent of schools in Chicago during 1887. And just a few other things, she was a professor of education in the University of Chicago in 1899. She was also the principal of the Chicago Normal School in 1905. And she served on the Board of Education in Illinois from 1888 to 1913. And she was the first woman in America to head a large school system like that. And then in 1910 to 1911, the National Education Association um, elected her as its first woman president. And so that's just a quick summary of Ella's life and the major parts in her career in education and teaching. But I wanted to talk just a couple, talk about just a couple of key contributions she had and what impact they had on our education in the world today. So um, with Ella Flag, with Ella Flag Young. Being the first female president of the National Education Association, she influenced a lot of female teachers and administrators, just showing that they can do a lot more in education and we have an opinion as well. And so before that, men controlled the association. But because of her and um, other members of that association, our, education, our National Education Association is led by women and a few men now. And because of her education and passion, she achieved something that wasn't normal during that time and became the first president of that association. And so she's just an example to us of how we can achieve so much and be an influence in our education in our country. And then she also had a big influence on teachers having experience before entering their own classrooms. She worked really hard to teach administrators and she and teachers to work together and just to unify them, unify them for a better education system. And she just wanted teachers to have training and gain an understanding of the classroom before going into it by themselves. And so I think that's the main reason of why we have student teaching and classes throughout school, just to teach us and give us a little experience of a classroom before having one of our own. And in high school, I took a class called Education Assistant, where I got to go in a classroom and work with the students and faculty. And it opened my eyes to see what the classroom is like and how things work. I got to experience some of the curriculum taught and how the teacher teaches it and that um, just how they go about their day with their students. And so I'm just really thankful for that opportunity I had to get some training and experience before coming to college because I knew that elementary education was what I wanted to major in and it gave me a better understanding of what I was in for. And so I think that her impact on the world is to show us um, how much we can achieve if we put our minds to it. And I've learned a lot from her. Um, her impact on education has made me realize that women have an importance in education and teachers have an importance also. And just being an exceptional teacher and worker and faculty member with whatever we do can make a huge difference in our students' lives and others as well. And so it just taught me that it's more than just teaching. We can just always push ourselves and push for things that we want in our education system. And if there's a problem, then we can do something about it as a teacher or an administrator. And we don't have to just sit back and wait for the education association to do something. We have a say in it as well. And we have an impact on our students' lives and how things are done for them. And so I just know that she taught me to be a leader and to have more of an impact of what happens with our education and to just, if I have an opinion, just to speak my mind and go about trying to find a way to solve it or talking and communicating with the administrators and the people of the association because that was her impact. She wanted that to happen and unify them together and 
so everyone could work together and just create a better education system. So why not use that? And we can do something about it. And so I just am really grateful for the opportunity to learn about her and all that she did for our education. And just that um, she told me that we have such more of an importance than just teaching. And we do impact our students' lives and we impact the people around us. And we can impact the education in our country as well. And so I'm just really grateful for her and the opportunity to learn about her.